What's up everybody, my name is Jalisis, back again with Starpost Social Media and today we're going to talk about a little something called strip science. There are a couple of things that play into having a successful wax. Of course, prep, your product, and your client can come into play. But ultimately your technique when laying your wax strip is what's going to ensure your success. And today we're going to talk about a little bit of techniques and wax control tips to help you get there. Okay, the first step to getting your wax strip perfect is your wax temperature. To prep your wax, put your wax inside your Starco wax warmer and let it melt fully and evenly at maximum temperature or 105 degrees Celsius. For example, if you're using Starco blue film hard wax, then you would maintain and bring your warmer down to about 70, 75. If you're using pink film hard wax, you would bring it down to about 6570 and if you're using star soft hard wax you do the same around 6570 depending on those external factors keep in mind those external factors that do play into the temperature of your wax regardless of the number that you put on the dial for example the climate that you're in the temperature of your wax suite and the body part that you're working on on your client or the client itself remember that based on the body part or the personal client they might perspire a little more or less, and you might have to adjust your temperature based on that. Once your wax is at a molasses or a honey-like consistency, then you are good to go. Here is the secret to your success. Your application. Pick up a medium to large bulb of wax, depending on whatever area you're working on, and twirl it a couple of times to make sure that your wax is not too thick or too runny. This is how you can tell. If you pick it up, and twirl it a couple of times, you shouldn't have any wax strip until two to three seconds after. Pick up your wax strip, twirl it, and bring it over to the highest point of the area that you're working on. The same way you picked up the wax and twirl the stick, you're gonna twirl the wax off the stick. And then you're gonna place the stick at the highest point once again of the wax and apply down in the direction of the hair growth with even pressure throughout. Continue to apply, and once you've realized that you're running out of wax on the spatula, then go ahead, turn your stick upward, and create a lip with lighter pressure, ensuring that you can remove your wax strip efficiently. Okay, next step, the removal. Now, your application is your setup for removal, and this will determine how smoothly or not smoothly your removal goes. With the lip that you created during the application, go ahead and flick up to make sure you have a good grip. If you're sure that you have a good grip on your wax strip, go ahead and with your free hand, hold the skin taut. Once you take that flick, remove upward and quickly away from the hair growth. Okay, let's do a quick recap. We talked about prep, the application, and the removal. These are the three key elements to laying down your wax strip the right way. Keep these in mind and you are golden when it comes to your strip science. And remember, to shop any of the products mentioned in this video, check out the description box below. To shop all Starpo products or to check out our latest blog, visit us at www.starpowax.com. Give us a follow to not miss out on any exclusive giveaways, specials, or other promotions on Instagram and Facebook at Starpill Wax. My name is Shalisi from so Starpill Wax Social Media, and from all of us here at Starpill, we really hope you learned something with us today about strip science and why it's important in your business. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Pick up that bulb again, twirl the wax strip, and bring it over to the type laying down your wax strips <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs>